This week, we have seen professional athletes taking a stand in the name of social justice. And there is a long history of athletes and activism, but CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas reports on why some say this time is different. We say we came down here with the mission to use our platform to speak out uh, while also being able to preserve wealth for the African-American community. Inside the NBA bubble, veteran Andre Iguodala is advocating for players as the vice president of the union, walking a path paved by the bravery of previous athletes. Muhammad Ali, you know, Jim Brown, those figures who could have made, you know, been very wealthy just being an athlete, but they actually stood for something and they sacrificed, you know, the wealth of their families, the wealth of their communities. Boxer Muhammad Ali was vilified, deemed unpatriotic after refusing to report for the draft during the Vietnam War. Track stars Tommy Smith and John Carlos raised their hands to protest racial injustice in America at their medal ceremony during the 1968 Mexico City Olympic Games, only to be suspended. On the tennis court in the 70s, Billie Jean King demanded pay equity and was a vital voice in the women's movement. Each act received criticism, only to be celebrated years and sometimes decades later. What we don't talk enough about is the WNBA. Those women, probably for the past 10 years, have been tenacious in their support of social justice. Now acts of protest are more of a team sport, putting pressure on the ownership. Making sure that, okay guys, the, the work we're doing right, right now, we may not see you know, the fruits of our label, but one day it'll come. Wednesday marked the fourth anniversary of when Colin Kaepernick first took a knee to protest police brutality. The impact of that demonstration is not lost on athletes today who are leveraging their own platforms for a bigger purpose. Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News.